Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to uh, my channel, Kaiwaza with you. Hope you're doing well. Um, we're going to continue looking at the Hawaiian record collection today, and it's a red letter day because we are going to actually finish the letter S. Can you believe it? After 20 something videos, finishing the letter S. And then I also am going to give you, uh, you know, I apologize, this one's kind of long, but I'm also giving you like a music update on some recent acquisitions and stuff that's been going on. So it'll be finishing the letter S and a bit of a vinyl update. So let's check it out. Well, first up uh, today, we have a record by the uh, world famous. I don't know if they're really world famous, if they were, but anyway, the famous St. Catherine's Choir. They come from the island of Kauai. They're a bunch of teenagers, and they actually uh, were a church choir, really, and then they did other, you know, secular numbers and secular performances as well. Um, this is Aloha Oi A Maria, or Ave Maria. This is on a custom label. And so there are you know, records were a combination of Hawaiian numbers and religious uh, numbers. This one is from the 50s, and interestingly, it says right here, this album may be ordered directly from St. Catherine's Choir, Box 78, Kapa'a, Kauai, $3.98, plus 40 cents for packaging and postage. So, send off today. I wonder what they would do if you actually wrote to them for that record. Then they did another album called Young Hawaii Sings. Uh, the picture for this one, and I, I think the previous one as well, was taken at the famous Coco Palms Resort, which actually uh, was pretty much destroyed in a hurricane and has not been rebuilt, although there have been several plans to. Uh, again, this is a combination of Hawaiian songs and some religious songs. Um, they did, oh, you can order this one too, I just noticed. Although it's gone up a dollar, four ninety-eight. dollars Postage is still the same. St. Catherine's Choir. Well, here's another Young Persons album. This is sort of an interesting one. This also is just a, a vanity, you know, label or custom record. Hawaiian Paradise by... The St. Francis of Assisi School Choral Groups, directed by Dr. May Leone, and this is actually not in Hawaii. St. Francis of Assisi Group is somewhere in Florida, yeah, Riviera Beach, Florida, and uh, <laughs> this is just, they did some sort of dramatic presentation apparently concerning Hawaii. Here's the director, uh, May Leone. And, uh, you know, they recorded the music from it. I don't know, it's a bunch of Hawaiian songs. And I have no idea what the story was about or anything. And I'll tell you the truth, it's little kids singing and they're not, you know, it's kind of annoying actually, but that's what it is. Now, we have uh, an album called Hawaiian Paradise. Great cover on that one. A lot of gratuitous nudity, right? We love that. Um, I like this album. This is by a group, well, on the uh, cover here, they are called The Islanders. Now, it comes out on Saga Records, the Saga record label. And uh, on the record label, they are referred to as the Saga Islanders. So. I don't know. Take your pick. I used, I filed them under S for Saga. But this is a nice recording. It's sort of your typical steel guitar uh, vibes, ukulele kind of thing. And this, it's interesting because uh, uh, most of the songs here are actually really Hawaiian songs. I mean, you know, Vili Vili Heiniki, uh, Waters of Nuwanu, incorrectly spelled. Um, Sweet Lele Hua. These are some songs that aren't recorded that often. This is a nice record. I don't know who these people are. The record comes out of England. But I like that one. Okay, so believe it or not, that completes the letter S. So uh, what I'm going to do now is give you, can you believe it, like 25 videos or something into it. Um, I'm going to give you an update now on 
a couple of records that I have gotten since I started doing the videos, which I'll do from time to time, which would have been in the section that we already covered or sections that we already covered. So I'll show you these and these will give you up to date. Actually, this first one is one I just missed somehow. I didn't do it. It's a 10 inch record. It's not a 12 inch, 10 inch long play by Danny Stewart. I should have had this when I did Danny Stewart. I don't know why, but this is called Hawaiian Reveries and it's uh, mostly non-Hawaiian songs. Uh, done in the Hawaiian style, among my souvenirs, sil by the light of the silvery moon, shine on harvest moon. It's a nice record, nice cover. Um, now, something I got recently, uh, kind of a rare recording. I was ha very happy to find this. It's a Tahitian record, Tahitian Christmas record, but I'd never heard anything from it. Uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, but the translation is... Christian Midnight, or it is O Holy Night, is what it is in English. Uh, the song, a Polynesian Noel and a Tahitian Mass, and that's actually what's on the recording. It is a uh, rendition of O Holy Night. Eddie Lund apparently composed a Tahitian a Mass. It's Latin, um, and then some other songs, Christmas songs. Uh, yeah, kind of disappointed with it, actually, if I'm going to be honest. Because <laughs> it's just kind of O Holy Night and a mass that Eddie Lund wrote. So, I don't know. Not very Christmassy to me. On the other hand, there's a 10-inch record that I just got recently that is amazing. Now, this is a Christmas record, as was the last one. We've already done videos on the Christmas, Hawaiian Christmas, so that's why I'm going to throw this in here to keep you up to date. This one was done by... Uh, it's a 10-inch record. I love the possessed child look. I'm loving that. This is a Japanese Hawaiian Christmas record. It is by Ginji Yamaguchi and his Luana Hawaiians. It's called Hawaiian Christmas Carols. This record, oh my god, is amazing. It's amazing. It's all in Japanese on the back, so I can't tell you anything. But and when we play the samples from it, it's so cool. It's like instrumental Japanese. Uh, it's a, in, you know, known Christmas songs like Jingle Bells and I Saw Mommy Kissing Santa Claus. But it's with Hawaiian steel guitar. There's like cha-chas and bossa novas and whatever. It's fabulous. This record is so cool. Okay. Love it. Now, uh, this one here, we've already done. Uh, this is a... a interesting it has like no information at all just the picture on the cover but we've already done this artist this is Ingvastur who is from Sweden and uh, this was an album of his I did not have which I got now I use Google Translate or some sort of translation service to try and figure out you know some of these titles because I would just as soon put it under an English title if I'm filing it myself and recording it because I don't you know I'm not going to remember sack, snack on sang or However, you're supposed to say that. I don't know, but we had trouble with uh, the translating services online <laughs> with this one because it kept coming up. Even if I used these the correct you know, diacritical marks, uh, it comes up as worms singing. So you know, I'm thinking it's probably not worms singing, uh, and one of the uh, one of the sites listed an alternative word for this snackins as being a conch shell. And since she has a conch shell on the cover, and it said it could be conch shell or seashell, so I'm figuring the title is probably Seashells Singing. So I'm going to go with that. Okay, so I have a couple of two records I need to talk to you about, uh, tell you a little bit about it. So, as a collector, you know, have you ever found something that just absolutely freaked you out, that didn't know, you didn't know it existed, and when you got it in your hands and listened to it, it was so amazing, you just couldn't believe it. Well, that happened to me uh, this past week, not once but twice, two times. It doesn't happen very often. I mean, I get happy to get records, but really freaked out. Um, this is major freak out. Yeah, 
twice this week. They were both things I ordered online, so it took a while for them to get here. They both had to come from Europe. But let me show them to you. This one is a little, uh, you know, unassuming looking record with a German title that translate to, translates to Dream Sounds of Hawaii. And what interested me about it, it's by a group called the Hawaiian Paradise Band. And when I was looking at it online, I noticed that the soloist, it said the soloist was uh, Joe Van Wetter or Vetter, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to say that. Now that name was familiar to me because that person was a member of or a song composer or something for my favorite uh, overseas Hawaiian band of all, the Waikikis out of Belgium. I absolutely love them. They did like a dozen or more records and I have them all and they're I just grew up loving the sound of the Waikikis and their steel guitarist is very distinctive sounding and I, I recognize their steel guitarist when they're playing as like a hired backup steel guitarist on some other orchestras. Um, it's very distinctive and I love it and I thought wow I wonder if this is going to be like the Waikikis, like if this person is doing steel, all this, most of the songs were original compositions, which is something I loved about the Waikikis. And on this album also, there were songs like Hula Girl Parade and Blowing Kisses on the Beach and Telephone from Hawaii. I mean, those are original compositions by uh, Van Wetter, who wrote many of the Waikiki songs, and uh, other people. So I thought, wow, could it be that this is sort of like a an independent project out of the Waikiki's in that style? Could it be? So I took a chance and I ordered it. And when it came in the other day, I was freaking out because it is. It's just like the Waikiki's. If you happen to know the Waikiki's and like them, I've never seen this album before. It's the first time I've ever seen it. But it's exactly like the Waikiki's. Joe Van Vetter just used his steel guitar styling and lifted like the wordless chorus, the instrumentation, it's just like a Waikiki's album. So it's sort of like, you know, the lost Waikiki's album. I was so excited about this. I cannot even tell you, this just made my year to find that. Then another one I was really excited about was a German record that I took a chance on. It didn't have a track listing, and it was on eBay in Germany, and I was hesitant to write to the person, because sometimes they don't understand what you're asking. I don't speak German and whatever. Uh, but it's called, in English, it translates to uh, Dream Islands, or Islands of Dreams. Uh, 24 hits from Hawaii, Tahiti, and Samoa. And when I saw that, I thought, oh, you know, I've bet this is a reissue of one of a couple of albums I have that are European, one by the Waikiki Party Band and uh, somebody else I don't remember off the top of my head, but they're like these, uh, Fred Artimer, they're um, medleys of songs, and I thought this is probably, I wonder, this is probably just a reissue of that under a, another name, under a pseudonym. But I noticed then it was it was EMI, Columbia, and I'm like, well, that's not a budget label, so it probably wouldn't be a reissue, but could it be something new? I don't know. So I took a chance, and I ordered it. It came in this week. Again, this is uh, by the Harry Martin Choir and Orchestra. It's amazing. It's this totally trippy... It's like the Ray Conniff singers on an acid trip. I mean, seriously, it's got fuzz guitar, fuzz Hawaiian guitar, and Moog synthesizer, and like some person going, ooh, waka, ooh, waka, ooh, waka, or whatever, over some of these songs. It's crazy. Psychedelically crazy. It has this awesome sleeve on the inside, too. You know? Hawaii Tattoo, Hawaiian War Chant, uh, some of the European Hawaiian songs like Come With Me to Tahiti, uh, uh, Dreaming of the South Seas. Anyway, fabulous record, rocked my world, super weird and psychedelic. Like I said, Raycon of Singers on an acid trip. Made my day. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed uh, the video today, and uh, we're going to listen to some samples.
of some music now, okay? <laughs> Sorry for the, the video being so long uh, this time around, but they just I had so much to say, and we finished the letter S, and, which means we're going to move on to another letter. So I'm going to do what I did last time, which is take the book I'm reading now, which is Utopia, and uh, we'll see what letter we're going to go to next. B, the letter B, we will start with in the next video. Artists, beginning with the letter B. Okay, so thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Sorry it's so long. And subscribe if you want to see more. If you like this kind of music, I do have an online Hawaiian radio station that plays selections from the vinyl record collection. Uh, free, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, called Hawaiian Hi-Fi on live365.com. And I'll have the link below. Thanks for sitting through this long thing. I promise next week, next one, whenever that is, won't be so long. Thank you.